Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to close all the overclocking applications. So if you have this MSI afterburner or revert unit running, close it. This will fix fatal error. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Next step is to run Easy Anti-Cheat as an administrator. Now for this, make a right click of the game, select Manage, then click on Browse Local Files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Open Easy Anti-Cheat folder. Over here you can see Easy Anti-Cheat Setup .exe file. Make a right click and then click on Run as administrator. Click on Yes to allow. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the uninstall option, click on uninstall and then launch the game and it will install the easy anti-cheat and then you can check. Now the next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder, common folder, and then open the game folder. And then select the game exe file. Now click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Select this start protected game for, uh, file and then open. Again, click on add an allowed app and then open speed freaks folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select all the exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case, this is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, select this exe file, click on open, now click on add. Once it is added, again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then open speed freaks, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open, now click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on OK, and then launch the game, and then check. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on, click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file first of all open this speed freaks folder binaries win64 select this exe file make a right click select properties and then go to the second tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties and then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work click, put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work go back and then do the same thing with the first exe file and then try to launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes in properties still not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step do the same thing with the first exe file and then launch the uh, follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files and once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check still not working try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties and go to the general tab and then put a check uh, in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case this time type in 
dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working so in that case you can remove this and follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's ge force experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance over here click on save again click on browse and then open this speed freaks folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you will see visual studio 2015 16 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download x86 and x64 so download x86 and then run the cxc file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow now download x64 again run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed you will see a restart option restart your computer after this restart is a must and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM 
total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer so if you have hotas pedals racing wheel any kind of external devices which are not using any kind of usb adapter dongle anything connected disconnected and launch the game if you have extra controller connected disconnected launch the game disable overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and then now yes uh, so make a right click and then select properties and then Turn off the option which says enable the system overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also, if you have any other overlay application, like if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. And then go to the services tab. And then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out in your case this would be highlighted so put a check over here first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel